Welcome back to We Happy Few Lightbringer DLC. Last episode we escaped the museum of our house and our ex-wife, I think? Was our ex-wife actually there or did we just like hallucinate the whole thing? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> anyway, our guitar amp is soggy and we need a new better one. Okay. Can't go in there, though. Thanks for the help. Oh, note. The Bobby's wife. Dearest darling Nikki, that beastly hag at the music shop has bought up all the win-a-date-with-Nick raffle tickets. It isn't fair. I know you'd love me if only you met me. Please ask your manager to nullify the raffles. You can go on a date with me instead. Yours forever in passion, Topsy Burn Jones. P.S. Do not worry about my husband. My husband's being a constable. He is quite free thinking, and we have an understanding. Oh, I noticed, by the way, that there's a sound effect for when your uh, guitar power bar, I guess, comes back up. So if I use some power, give it a second. Kiss me. The cool. <laughs> Die with me, Nikki. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> Oh god, it sounds terrifying. Look over here, no, 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 no. I want to die with you, Nikki. Oof. Don't ignore her. Dear God, close that. I can still hear them. <laughs> that didn't do much. I'm a late night bearer. I, I mean bear nighter. How oh, may I serve you? What's all this? Oh, I'm just trying to buy an amp, mate. <laughs> Need it that bad, do you? And mine's the only music store in town. Hard luck. Why do you hate me so much? Uh, aside from the usual. I don't like musicians. Funny thing. Bloke in the music industry took a tumble in the park last night. Twisted his neck right around. What music, bloke? Newspaper blamed it on too much bubbly. But I asked myself, why would Bobby swarm around the scene of trip and fall? I, uh, I have to go. My missus and her leaders say that you just pretend to be bad, but I says what a man pretends to be is what he is underneath. Okay, so it sounds like they're serial killer of musicians. I'm gonna faint! Oh, I had another amp. Manager stole it. I shouldn't have to pay for my own drinks. Oh. I could steal it back. <laughs> Sounds good. Non-flushable notice. Attention all residents, a number of Nick's fans appear to have turned sour on him. It is imperative that you do not flush your inflatable Nick dolls down the loo, as this clogs the island's sewage system. I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid. 
Who's there? Right, we've already been here. Like we came out of oh we're right, we came out of the trash chute. <laughs> and then went left, but now the right is open. This will make you love <laughs> Damn it, I keep doing it prematurely. You stood me! Give me the <laughs> Hey, I'm playing you some this freaking song! Very satisfying. <laughs> I'm actually really low on healing items. Remember, I am running this on hard. Go in the hotel. Thanks for the tip. I'm gonna look around for extra stuff, though. Kind of need it. Ooh. You promised you'd call. Mm. Damages. To Mr. Virgil Dainty, that was our ex-manager, thank you for your recent note. You are correct that you already paid a bill for damages to the pub caused by Mr. Nick Lightbearer. However, that bill was for the month of June. The more recent invoice is for damages caused by the, in the month of July, related to the dart-throwing incident gone awry. Please remit £900 immediately. Bloody manager probably stashed my amp in his office. I need a disguise. Maybe a Nick lookalike contestant. Nah, they're on to that one. Lookalike as yourself? How would that work? Have we already been this way? This way, I mean. I've, I'm pretty sure I have. I think that's how I got out or something. Because we've already been here before, of course. Ah, oh, that's where we need to get. Oh, maybe I haven't been there then. Because this probably leads around there. I saw a vent in their office. <laughs> What's that tune? Yeah. Oh, a bellboy outfit. Yes, that's the ticket. No one ever really notices a bellboy. It's sort of sad, really. You know, to think what life choices led you to that. Unlike your life, Nick. Your life is so good. If I'm supposed to just be a bellboy, I probably shouldn't have my guitar out, huh? <laughs> Foggy Jack. Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. Oh, I ruined the conversation. Right as rain. Right as rain. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. To be safe, I'd better get the manager out of the way. Maybe 
I can call him on the PA system. I'd like it done discreetly, if you get my meaning. Can't have a panic on the biggest weekend of the year. The refunds will sink us. Wait, what are they talking about? So I've got refunds would sink us, can't have a something. Manager's plea. Dear Constable, I write this to you as a man under siege. If any of the crowd of rabid Nick Lightbearer fans should discover these scribblings, I fear that they shall tear me apart. But I can stand this no longer. No man should have to. The hopelessly shredded upholstery, the sinks stuffed with braziers, the quarts of vomit our cleaners have to painstakingly remove from the carpeting, the endless empty pill bottles. And that's just the Wonderland suite. Each year, myself and my poor beleaguered staff are compelled to deal with the reckless and destructive cyclone of hedonic anarchy that is Nick Lightbearer. And each year, right on time, that manager of his pays his bill in full, damages included, so that I have naught else to do than grip my teeth. But Lightbearer will slip up, I know it. And when he does, you'll hear my call. And, it is my dearest hope, bring the full weight of the law down upon him. Uh, hi Jane, the manager. Um, we have an emergency. Uh, uh, a fan, 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 fan is stuck in one of the vents. Vents, vents, vents. Your, your fault, really. Um, please get her out at once. Once, once. <laughs> oh, that ought to keep him busy for a while. You know, after all this is over, maybe I should become an actor. <laughs> Voice acting is so good. Huh. I'll finally put that Nick Lightbear in his place. No more yes sir, no sir for me. It'll be him calling me sir. If he wants him am back? His amp back? <laughs> Can't play his concert without it, can he? I know that Bates bloke won't sell him another. He hates Nick just as much as I do. Can't trust my staff not to snitch, though. Too many Nick fans. I'll just keep the amp in my room, where no staff's allowed the key. Can't wait to make that dandy eat crow. Where is it, little friend? What? Outside? I guess this is just the office, it's not their actual room, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Bellboy! You there! Constable Turner needs his bag taken to his room. Uh, yes, sir. Oh. Oh, did you hear about the phone stuck in the fence? Um, someone with authority needs to find her, don't you think? Is that a silly Nick Lightbearer moustache you're wearing? Sir? Against regulations. Take it off. I won't have staff acting like that cheeky good for nothing. Oh, y yes, sir. Um, as soon as I've taken the constable's bag upstairs, sir. I don't need to remind you that this is a hotel of discretion. You're not to look inside the constable's bag or remember anything you see in his room. <clears throat> not to worry, sir. Um, <laughs> I've got a terrible memory. Really the worst. <laughs> Get on with it then. I'd better go and see about that fan. Can I look in the bag? Because I definitely want to. Inspector Gadgets. Used by Bobbies to carry around all of their fancy crime-solving kit and any clues they might find. Damn, I can't. Can't look inside of it. Lookalikes. To the management, I must report any suspicion of foul play. Six contestants in the Nick Lookalike event have gone missing this weekend. 
I do not believe your staff's reassurance is that these lookalikes have merely eloped with female guests. I believe someone is trying to rig the Nick lookalike contest. As third runner-up in last year's event, I fear for the sanctity of the competition results, as well as my personal safety. A concerned lookalike. I should just turn off the hot water to his room. See how he likes that. Fancy a cuppa. Nothing. <laughs> Notice to Nick fans, it is strictly forbidden to sneak in Nick's room in a laundry cart. In happier news, Miss Tabitha Sweet is recovering nicely from the bleaching. We all wish her well. The bleaching? What? Oh god. That's terrifying. <laughs> Isn't that... Isn't that Jack? Uncle Jack? Weed anything worth talking about lately? Don't sound nothing like me, Mum. Let me in, and I'll make it up to you. Oi, you, you there! Quit skulking and drop that bag in my room. I'm gonna keep skulking. Okay, they're not gonna say anymore. Is this your room? Yeah. To the constables, could you please give this letter to Foggy Jack when you capture him? It's most urgent that he get it. Thank you. Marianne Dashwood. Dearest darling Foggy, I know they say you're bad, but I think you're just misunderstood. You only do those things because you're sad. But I can make you happy. I do hope the constables take you alive. I shall visit you in prison. You'll see we're soulmates. Right. Fan of that serial killer. Wait, nothing? Hello? Weird. Foggy Jack. So he's real. Well, that means... Oh dear. Oh no. I don't want to think about it. Case number blah blah blah. Reporting officer PC Shelley. Detail of incident. Passerby reported sighting male lying in the arms of a Nick Lightbear statue, apparently in a drunken stupor. Upon investigation, said male was determined to be slightly dis slightly deceased and partially dismembered. Fits Foggy Jack pattern. Propose course of action. Advise caution to avoid alar alarming populace. <laughs> I love the wording of said male was determined to be slightly deceased. What do you mean slightly dead? Oh, hell yeah. What's in here? Modeling strings. Oh, they make my guitar better at everything. Better strings means you can serenade up to two fans at once. Nice. A uh, love letter was added to my journal and a note. Wait, what's the note? Because I only have the love letter. My dearling, my darling Dashing Burnsy, I need you. I need to hear you coming to me from your sad crime room through our tunnel of love to my bed. I can't wait to feel the shiny brass buttons give away to my fingers. Your tender touch is the only way I'll ever get through another one of these horrific convention weekends. The management. 
of your loins. That, um... I need to hear you coming to me from your sad crime room through our tunnel of love to my bed. That is a weird sentence. So, where's that tunnel of love? This must be the sad crime room, right? Or is, is it not? I don't know, it seems to be... Wait. Nope, never mind. So it's always a fireplace. A tunnel of love <laughs> connecting this room and the managers, is there? You don't really expect a bottomless pit in a first-class hotel. Mm-mm. Then. I'm leaving. There it is, Motelin Amp Module. They sleep with a nice little teddy bear. I can appreciate that. Oh, my dry amp. Sound check. Brass on my shoe. Caught it. At the park. I have to go to the park. Hold left click to unleash a massive eardrum piercing charged face melt. Awesome. So this is a normal one. Ooh, is that an AOE? I love all the particle effects. Oh, I'm out of power. Right. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Too bad I can't stay. Sorry. Pay attention to me. No, nope. <laughs> damn it. Write shorter songs. Damn. Kiss me, or I'll tear you to shreds. Can't ignore me. Oh god, what are you throwing? Ignore me. I need your love. You said you'd call oh. me. You never answered me. And stretches them like they're bloody guitar strings. I don't I think. I want my photos. I don't think the charged um, face melt actually does any damage. I think it just does an AOE push down. Here's a love bomb, baby. Conviction. Everyone knows the bigger a fan you are, the more likely Foggy Jack is to snatch you. And I'm the biggest Nick fan there is. Wait, the more of a fan of Nick you are, the more likely Foggy Jack is to catch you. Is the person in the in the music store the serial killer? Are they Foggy Jack? Oh, this isn't actually where I go. Um. Oh, this way. 
Hmm. Suppose I'll have to leave through the front of the hotel. Attention guests. If you believe you've inadvertently dated or married a Nick lookalike, please contact the convention manager. Was this open before? Yeah. This place. You never oh. You never answered Give my me liquor. I might find clues. <laughs> it's not terribly effective to use these, but it's really fun. It makes music every time I hit one of their bodies. It seems to do f like a uh, ascending four notes, like do, 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 do. Sort of, it like starts out with three A, but then it goes to four. I don't know how that works. Oh. A murder happened here. There's something I can do here. Oh, Jesus. A guitar pick? Was I? No. It could belong to anyone. I think that's it. Am I hearing voices in the fog? Do I want to find clues? Nick, meet me in the hotel park tonight. V. Virgil? Virgil! Oh my god, he's dead! Oh god, I'm remembering. Just a nightmare. I hope. Oh, please don't be a rat. <gasps> Nick Lightbearer! Oh. oh my god! Oh, hello. Could you um tiptoe a bit with your voice, Tana? I slept with Nick Lightbearer! <laughs> uh yes you have, baby. <laughs> um actually I don't remember having playtime. Well no, I snuck into your room. But I guess I fell asleep waiting for you. So, 
You, you don't know where I was last night. I tried to stay awake, I really did, but it got so late. I was hoping you'd write me a song. A song? Oh. Oh. Did you write that for me? Where did I write these lyrics? While I slept. It wasn't a dream. Oh, better sneak out before the manager finds me here. I was hoping for something cheerier. I think, Nicky. I might give it a twirl, girl. How did I even get back here? I love that song. Clear head, clear head, clear head. Look, never mind. Will you call it for Belinda? <laughs> That's my name, Belinda. Absolutely. Must stay off the party favours today. Aren't you going to shag me? <laughs> A trip to the hotel bar would get my head straight. <laughs> Sorry, Belinda. Uh, first, we have the alarming lyrics. I can't see anything in a fog, but his scream so high at the bar, and it wasn't a dream. Down the hatch. Nick Glove, I've had the hotel staff install a double top secret escape hatch for you to get away from fans discreetly. I know your memory is beans on toast these days, so I asked them to make your... your suds tap be the hatch lever. I'm sure you'll be pulling on that anyway. Virgil. P.S. Oh, and for Christ's sakes, don't spill the beans to the next wide-eyed groupie you bring home. This is a secret passageway. Emphasis on secret. Suds tap. Mr. Lightbearer, at the Avalon, we pride ourselves on our discretion and our tradition of creating a carefree environment for our guests, particularly those in the arts. However, certain behavioral norms and standards needs must apply to ensure a comfortable environment for all of our clientele. Mm, yeah, lots of screaming from our hotel room. And apparently we've shattered three toilets? We've already been there, right? Like, I remember we used one of these. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah, 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 we definitely did. And I can't seem to get into a bathroom, so I don't think I can use a suds tap anywhere. Nick, my darling, my dearest, my delight. Smashing news, I couldn't wait. I couldn't. I'm leaving my husband, Nikki. Oh, he's a lovely sort, all right. He's always been good to me, but he's not my soulmate. That honorific belongs to you, my darling, even though we've only met a scant few minutes. I know you feel the same way. Please don't feel a moment of embarrassment about not recognizing me last time we crossed paths. <laughs> I can hear your love for me in the plaintive tones of your voice on your first single, Forever, Evermore. It doesn't matter a bit that we hadn't actually met when you recorded it. It anticipates our love so soulfully. You don't have to wait any longer. P.S. Do you want an awfully big wedding or something intimate with just family and friends? Can a bride wear white if it's her second wedding? I can't decide. Oh, Nikki, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Mr. Lightbear, I consider myself a bloke of great reserve and near limitless patience. However, when it comes to the sanctity of my marital bed, that patience has a limit. I'm well aware that my kitty is an irresistible specimen, yet I must warn you to clear off and stay far, far away from my precious wife, lest you find a pair of drumsticks shoved deep into your person. Via means you may not appreciate. Yours, Mr. Bates. Doesn't it make you nervous? To have so many eyes upon you, sir? Oh, they're watching me. I knew it. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, we're going to check out the bar.